This can be a quick tutorial showing you how to use your Sox5 proxies within the browser. First thing you need to do is download Maxton browser because this is currently the only browser which supports Sox5 proxies with the username and passwords natively. I'll leave the link for it in the description so you can click and download it. Once you have it installed, follow this guide. So open Maxton and navigate to the top right hand corner and click the settings panel. Scroll down to where you see proxies and hover over it. On the side a little panel will open up, click choose manage on that panel. This is going to open a proxy settings page. Click use custom proxy settings on this page and then go to add. This is where you can enter all your proxy credentials in. The first thing you want to do is change the type to SOX5 because that's the type we've sold you. Next you're going to want to name it. Now for a name I suggest using something that correlates with the name you have on Tribot for this IP. So if your IP's name on uh, Tribot is BOT1, you're going to want to name it BOT1 here so you don't mix, mix them up so you remember exactly what you're using. So we're going to name it BOT1. Now you want to add your proxy credentials, which I have here in a notepad. I'm going to copy and paste them in here real quickly. Use uh, Copy them into the correct fields, which you should know when you can see the port is shorter than the IP. And so you can tell which is the correct field if you're not so sure. So click OK. Now you can see bot1 has been added to your browser. Hover over proxy again, you'll see it's using bot1. This means currently all the internet traffic within the Maxton browser is using this IP. Now this is what you want to do when you're making RuneScape accounts to bot under the IP you bought from us. So that that IP is only ever used on that account and no other IP is used. This mitigates the chance of chain bans drastically and it separates all your accounts and makes sure that they stay separated. You don't mess up and log on with an IP that you don't mean to. So I hope this helps and I hope uh, you know what you're doing now. Thanks for watching.